This is the goo, and you're watching Dopey Games. Today we're going to be going over fog. Uh, fog is pretty useful in our editor. It's part of the production wheel, which I'll show you. Here is environment and audio. When you come into this wheel, you have all kinds of, of things for your production. Audio, backdrops, post effects, but we're going over fog today. So let's uh, check it out and see what's up with fog here. As you see here, I used fog, but I used it for my sunset. I did not use it for um, actually to create fog. What I used was my top fog. Now, your top fog has density, which we can make it more dense. Right? Um, we can make it as dense as we want. We can make it, like, totally dense. <laughs> All right. We can adjust its height. That's just you see right now, its minimum height is 500, which is maxed out. And But we can bring it down, which will bring it. See, we just totally took ourselves out. We can do our height. We can do our maximum height, which are similar. They work similar, but they're not the same. One is the minimum height. One is the maximum height. Okay, so we'll take that out and let's pull our uh, let's put our height back. Let's take some of this density down because we weren't using it as fog. We were basically using it just to color the sky. All right, so we'll bring it back down to where we were. You know, just almost out. See how that's totally out. Now we can put it back in, and at point two, we've we've created our sunset, which is actually pretty cool. All right, so say we want to make it thicker or or thinner. Okay, so we could go to scatter. I know you're thinking scatter. Well, scatter just brings more of it into it. So here on scattering, it totally takes it out. And if I bring it up, it makes it thicker. It makes the fog thicker. All right. So we can do that. Or we can use extinction. Extinction can be used for a lot of different things. What it basically does is it doesn't take the fog away, it darkens it up. So you could turn it into smoke, you could turn it into whatever you want to make it. Alright, so let's take it out. We don't need any extinction, because we're going to leave it eh, we can put it right there. Uh, you can also phase it forward. You can phase it backwards. And you can phase it LERP, which I have no idea what that means. If someone knows, please put it in the comments. I really don't use those much. Maybe a little bit of adjustments on it. But I do use extinction and scattering. Okay, so let's take our fog out all the way, our top fog. All right, and now we're just back into our regular map here. And what we're going to do is we're going to just run through it some of, we're just going to make some fog so let's go up to our bottom fog which would be on the bottom top fog is on the top now let's put up our density now as you see we have some density here um, we've got it our minimum height is 12 but we could bring that up to as high as we want it to go as you see it's coming up over the sun now and we're at 500 now but as you see it's still not on us it's there because we have our scatter down very low now we can bring our height back that's our minimum height now our maximum height can go up as the same so then we can set them in between so that we get the size that we want it's at a certain height because if we set our minimum lower it'll just go below the map all right so we'll bring it back up and now if we want it to come in we can use the scattering as you see the fog is is has come in somewhat as you can see all right now let's bring our density up and as you see our fog just got dense now but our scatter is on one so if we bring our scatter down you can see that we've actually taken the fog away. And we can play with anything. Our density. We can make it totally so you can't see nothing. Nothing at all. Alright. 
And there we go. Totally foggy. Maximum density. Now let's go down to our scatter. And we can actually just take it away. All right. All right, but that's not what we're going to do. Let's bring our fog back. Let's bring our density down to something manageable. Because nobody wants to run out around on a pink map. Not being able to see nothing. All right. So we've got our density down to here. We'll take our scatter. We can bring it up or we can bring it down. So let's bring it down. Let's go into our red color. Let's bring it up. And let's drop our blue back. That's right there. Okay. Go back into fog. And let's go to density again. And we'll bring it up to the point where we can actually see it. All right. And that's at one. Now, extinction. Extinction just makes it... See how it went? It went lighter. And then it went darker. Now, if we do this and we pull our red out, pull our blue out, let's throw some green in here. As you can see, we just totally changed everything. Let's take our scatter out. Like this. Let's bring our density down. And now, our minimum height, let's bring it down. Let's bring it down to, I don't know. Let's see, there's a nice, there's a nice little area right there. We brought it down. Now, as you see now, this looks more like a, a thing of foggy gas or something that's out there that's going to come in. All right. So, we could do that. We could, we could do that. So, if we bring it in further and then we just do give it some more. There we have, well, we'll give it some uh, phasing back and forth. Um, there we go. As you see, now we have a green fog or a glass, gas cloud that has come in and is getting ready to strangulate everybody on the island. <laughs> Something like that. All right, so let's go back into our fog. Now, I want to show you another thing. Let's go ahead and bring our maximum height down. All right, so we're to there. I'm going to scatter it in here a little bit like this. Now, uh, it's green at the moment just to show you what's going on here. So this is your bottom fog. Now, I can also bring up my top fog, as you see. Now we have our top fog and our bottom fog. The only thing I do regret about this is that we can't separate them. So if I change the color of the top fog, it 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 does both. It, it's they're not separate. They're both together. So depending on what you need or what you want or how you want to set it up, the fog fog can be used for a lot of different things. All right, if I change the daytime here and put it, let's see, let's go back into our fog. And let's say we um, pull the scattering back. And pull the scattering back to about there. All right, and our fog extinction is no good. Let's go back to our color balance. Let's bring everything to about normal. Which would be about there, there, and we have there. Now, what have I done? Well, I've created smoke. All right, so we have now have smoke. So if we were doing a fire scene, um, if something was burning on the horizon, anything like that, we're using fog now to make smoke. All right, so we have that and we're using our extinction and our scattering so if we really wanted to uh, we could we could bring that smoke in as you see now we have smoke um, say we wanted it to be look like fire um, like there's a fire going on on the water or something now well, we could bring up our red and drop out Maybe throw a little bit of that in there. A little more blue. And yeah, take some of that blue out. 
And then we kind of have like a forest fire glow that we can put trees and some flames and all that in there. So there's a lot more you can do with fog than just creating a fog on the ground. You can do a lot. So let's take out our top fog all the way out. We'll just pull our density down to zero, which basically gives us back our our smog. <laughs> we have smog, not even fog. All right, so we'll go back to our top. And we'll go back to our density. And let's pull up our density. Let's make it a real thick smog. All right. There's pretty thick. Now, our minimum height, we can break it down so that it's just across the water. See, as you see, it goes down, comes back up, and we bring it right across there. Now, I could do it there. And I could even scatter it a little bit. Right? So now we have a fire off in the distance. Right? The world's on fire. And that's basically pretty much everything you need to know about fog. It's basically just playing with it. But you can use it for a lot more than just um, making fog. 